Um, so it is a chronic condition, and, the, and this third thing, no, if it's untreated, it's terminal. It, it's like cancer or any other uh, terminal disease. If it's not arrested, the progression, if it's not uh, treated, you will die, or you might as well be dead. And, you know, and some people have longer careers. I've known people that have, you know, um, their livers haven't given out until they're 78 years old. And you say, wow, well, you see, I made it. Well, no, you didn't. Because your your the quality of your life, the quality of your relationships, the quality of, of your potential that what you could have manifested in the world as far as in relationship, creativity, helping your family, loving uh, adventures, whatever thing has been just very narrowed and limited to consuming and drinking, being a drunk, basically. So it'll it'll get you eventually, and some things sooner than later. And some people have longer careers than others, but it it is definitely a, a terminal progression to you hit bottom or you get hit and you die from some other cause before that. So, uh, great. Any questions at this point? I do not. Okay, so it's the mental obsession. It's the, the inability to stop in the face of catastrophic and negative consequences. Addiction is progressive. It gets worse. Uh, it, is, it is chronic. Once you stepped over that line, you can never go back to being non-addicted and you can never safely use any addictive substances. Even cigarettes and coffee and caffeine, uh, there's a lot of data coming out so that, 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 that puts you more at risk. So, I mean, obviously uh, AA has <laughs> traditional AA meetings you go through and you try to find the table through the cigarette smoke. And there's always the coffee that people are powering down and the cookies and stuff like that. But Bill W. himself died of emphysema from smoking and toward the end of his life he said, maybe I should have quit this one too. And the, uh, the, the traditional wisdom in AA, well, if you try to stop alcohol and cigarettes at the same time, it's so stressful that you just start keep drinking and smoking. Well, uh, I think we, we, we're learning enough now how to correct the, the brain chemistry very quickly so people feel good and they don't go through withdrawals, very exciting stuff, that that's no longer um, a given or even true or even helpful at this point to think in that way.